we are back and we're getting ready to continue exploring Ostagar which is okay so we've got a few things we need to do we need to meet Wynn greetings young man you are Duncan's newest recruit are you not he's not a man easily impressed you should be proud allow me to introduce myself I am Wynn one of the mages summoned by the king pleased to meet you well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Will you be fighting beside the king? Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Um... You faced Darkspawn before? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Not much. I'm a dwarf after all. It's home to many spirits. Some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Why does it have to be black? What's the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. And is that true? It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Mm-hmm. At least it's something to ponder. Yes. Occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. All right. Well, I talk to Wynn now. Um, what do I have? I have? I have up there to go, and I have over here to go. Let's do this first. Let's talk to this guy. Tranquil. Welcome, young man. Um, who are you? I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the Circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the Circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. Okay, you speak strangely, why is that? Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? They're not feared by dwarves. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Okay, that sounds like a horrible practice. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. Okay. How is someone made tranquil? Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. Okay. Uh, let's talk about something else. Of course. What may I assist you with? Um, what is enchantment exactly? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The Tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with lyrium so. A true mage could not. Okay. What sort of enchantments are there? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency 
given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Okay, I should go. Goodbye. Yeah. I still feel bad for you, but all right, let's pop up here for a so, bit. Oh, any well, last I need to touch this guy I can help here. fulfill before you head into battle. Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Oh, well, too bad. Yeah, that was not a good pickup line, pal. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. And what did you think I'd be? Not a dwarf. Yet, here you are. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. Um, what do you know about the ritual? I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see? And I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Okay, maybe they will, we'll see. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. Mm-hmm. They're forcing you to be here? I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. All right, well. You do that. All right, I'm going to come back to him later. Um, let's do what's up here first. We've got nurse soldier. Wounded soldier. In the name of Andraste, I bless priest, you today. Soldier. May you find favor in the maker's eyes. So let it be. All right, and oh, we've got a book. Let's get the book. And let's talk to Jory. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. I am. Who are you? Yes, I'm Boylan. Sir Jory is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Aemon. I wasn't aware dwarves could be Grey Wardens. I've only seen a few of your folk in the castle dealing with the smithy. Okay. That old dwarves are smiths, you know. Of course. My father was the castle smith, so I encountered dwarves through him. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? Uh... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I fought hard to get here. Impressing Duncan was not easy. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? Only that it's dangerous. Davis said we might be going into the wilds. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. All right. That is one more thing we need to do. We need to talk to the prisoner. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. Uh, you haven't been sentenced? No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Um, and why are you in there? I'm a deserter, or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. Um, and I bet you're as innocent as the sunrise. Did you desert? I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. Uh, it matters to me if your cause is just. <laughs> You're a funny one. They wouldn't listen to some dwarf no matter what you think. Thanks for the laugh, though. And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me is all. Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. Okay. Um, and why would I want to help you once again? Because you might want something I don't need. Them circle wizards got a chest they keep things in. Magical things. And I stole the key. That's why I'm here. I got one of them drunk, took his key and tried to sneak to the chest. They assumed I was deserting. I can't use it from here. But I'd trade you for some food and water. Okay, I'll see what I can do. They didn't find the key when you were arrested? I swallowed it. But it's... Uh... 
come back into my possession since then, so yeah. to speak. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Alright, let's talk to the guard. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Mm-hmm. I had a chat with him, actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. Um, he claims... Well, he asked for some food and water. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. Um, so you miss one meal. This man could be hanged, sir. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. I'm perfectly fine with that. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Okay, here's some food. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? Alright, now, I forget exactly when. I always forget when you have to use the key, because you can't just go out and use it. You can't just go out and use it. It's just... It, okay, now I need to talk to this guy. First things first, though. Um, not that. I do need to save, but uh, I need to check my gear. So, here's how we do this. Um... I need, I need a little bit more strength. Now, let me take a look at this. I need medium. I need 16 strength for a lot of medium stuff. Um, so I may not be rocking medium as much as I thought I would. Medium may be something I come to later in the game. All right, that, so here's what's gonna happen. Um, we're gonna start taking everything that we can't use or don't need and moving it all to junk. All right, so. Mm -hmm. Move to junk, move to junk, move to junk. Um, now, the thing is, some of this stuff I could give to some of my other characters. This is a longsword, tier two. Um, that's move to junk. I'm not using great swords. I don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, and I don't need a shield. I'm going to hold on to the fine dwarven blade for now because I might give that to Alistair. Um, Chain mail. Okay, let's see. Medium boots. All right, we'll move that to junk. Dwarven armored boots. Move that to junk. We don't need that. Dwarven armor. Medium armor. Move that to junk. Superior dwarven guard armor. Heavy armor. We'll hold on to that for a second. Massive armor. We're going to hold on to that for a bit. But we're going to move to junk to tattered clothes. Um, the ring I don't need. So that goes to junk. Alright, um, okay, we're gonna save all of that stuff, um, we may, Venom, we can move to junk, I'm not gonna be playing with that stuff, Elf Root, see this, like I said, I'd normally sell this stuff, I might play around with this stuff this time though, Greenstone and Silver Chalice, alright, so I think, I don't think I need Greenstone for anything, and I'm pretty sure that Silver Chalice should just sell, um, Greenstone, I don't know what I need it for. Um, I'm gonna, for now, I'm gonna sell it. Okay. And chest. Okay, I'm gonna save before I open to go for the chest. Cause if it's a, uh, if it's a bad thing to go for the chest, then um, I'm gonna reload the game. On it. It is done. Okay. Um, and no, nope, not here this and I just got an axe which I don't need all right and quartermaster have you seen an elf running about young woman red hair carrying a suit of chain um can't say that I have blast it where did she go that suit better be patched up when she gets back or buy the maker up oh, pardon my manners my troubles are no concern of yours I'm sure I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Um, what kind of supplies do you have? 
Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> okay, let me see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Sell all junk. Alright, and he has... Um, okay, so he's got, let's see, weapons, weapons, weapons. He doesn't have what looks like any kind of anything that I would want. Armor. Um, he's got a helmet. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a helmet fairly soon anyway. So, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Alright. Um, I probably could have bought some health poultices, but we'll worry about that later. Now, we're getting ready to get into it with, uh... Getting ready to meet Alistair. But I believe there's something to loot over here. Yes, there is. Okay, As complete. Small On to the next. Alright. Here we go. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the Revered Mother, Sir Maid. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. Hmm. You are a very strange human. You are not the first to tell me that. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Um, we haven't met. You must be Alistair. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Okay. Um, pleased to meet you. My name is Beolin. Right. That was the name. It was. Hmm. There haven't been any Dwarven Grey Wardens in some time. You must know a lot about Darkspawn. Um been fighting them for centuries. Hard to believe most folks here think the Darkspawn disappeared after the last blight, when your people still suffer every day. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. I'm sorry about that streaming message that keeps coming up. I, my wires are all tangled up, and every time I move the controller in my hand, I hit the wire to my mouth. Okay, um, that argument I saw, what was it about? With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Okay. You were a mage hunter? Oh, what's a Templar? You don't know? No. Quick version, then. The Chantry tries to control mages because they're dangerous. So they keep Templars that train to hunt down and kill apostates. That's what I was being trained as when Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. Okay. What about the other recruits? Oh, I look forward to traveling with you. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Okay. Follow me then. Done. On okay. and done. Alright, anything else? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so. We did pick up some new gear. Um, let's very quickly go in here. Let's go this way. Um, let's look at. Uh, Alistair and Fine Dwarven Blade is not better than... Oh, it is better than his sword, so he's going to get that. 
He's gonna get the fine dwarven blade and the warven warden's long sword goes to junk. The mace goes to junk and the small shield goes to junk. Okay, um, let's look at the armor I'm carrying. Um, superior guard armor. Um, it's definitely better than what he's got. So he's going to get that, Alistair. Okay. Um, I need to check his tactics. Okay, he is passive-aggressive. He's definitely aggressive. Um, defender, scrapper, archer, custom... Yeah, so he's going to be more, um, wow, he doesn't have anything set up. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be a scrapper. Nah, he's more of a defender. Yeah, because he's, he's there to keep everybody safe. So I'll be doing it that way. Um, now, that chest is there. What we're going to do is we're going to sell off the weapons we don't need. Which is kind of silly I, that I didn't do that. They didn't check that. So basically we're going to go splint mail. Dwarven massive armor. I'm going to keep until Alistair can, can wield it. Um, Alright. And we're good. So quartermaster. Hello again. Is there something you need? Uh, Some supplies perhaps? Show me what you got. Let me know what you'd like. And I'm going to sell off the junk. Alright. And uh, let's just double check something. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? So we've got... Let me know what you'd like. And we're going to look at his stuff because he may have... Okay. I don't need any of that. Crafting. I don't need that. Backpack. That's what I wanted. I can... Can I afford the backpack? It looks like I can. All right. So I've got the backpack so I can carry more stuff. That's what I wanted. Okay. Okay, we're good there. And we're gonna go talk to Duncan. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the maids, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. Mm-hmm. And the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Okay, find the archive and three vials of blood. Understood. The scrolls contain treaties promising support, treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. All right. And that'll be the end of this episode. I'm going to thank you now for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.